I'm Emily Steely from the STEM Center. This is my daughter, Autumn. Hi. So this week at STEM at Home, we're talking about weather. So we thought, we'll do this experiment. It's called the cloud in a bottle. Now what we're using is a pre-made apparatus, but I'm going to include in the notes how to build your own. So basically, this bottle is gonna act as our atmosphere, and we're gonna mimic part of the Earth's water cycle. You remember what the water cycle is? So water's in big bodies of water on the planet, and the sun heats it up, it evaporates, and then it goes up to the cloud and it condenses and gets cold. Mm -hmm. And then if it, the clouds form because we have water vapor coming into contact with dust. And then what happens when we get so much water vapor in the clouds? It rains. Yeah, right. So that's the water cycle. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, this is our atmosphere. We put a little bit of rubbing alcohol in here to simulate the dust that would be something cool that the water droplets can attach to. And then we're going to pressurize the soda bottle by increasing the air, pumping air in. The air molecules are going to start to collide with each other and warm the bottle. And then we're going to release the pressure quickly, which means the water vapor is going to condense quickly and it's going to form a cloud. So we have a thermometer in here. We have an air sealed lock and the thermometer is going to read right now about 26. So we're gonna see if we can get that to go up. Okay, so I've been pumping for probably about 30 seconds to try and increase the pressure in here. This is a hand pump, so it takes a little bit longer. So I can also feel that the bottle is getting a little warmer and that the, it's not as easy to push in on the sides. So we're gonna go ahead and release the pressure. I'm gonna try and get this as good as we can. And there is a cloud in there. Whoa! You can see look. the cloud? Yeah, you see the little Coming wisps out. of water vapor? Uh -huh. So, when we talk about weather and we're looking at high pressure systems and low pressure systems, if you did this experiment and had your cloud fully in the bottle and then you start pumping and increasing the pressure, the clouds would go away. High pressure systems usually mean bright sunny days, whereas low pressure systems usually mean clouds and rain. Thanks for your help, Adam. You're welcome.